Welcome to Explain, a series of health education programs published by the Patient Education Institute, the leading provider of interactive health education. This video includes general medical information and does not replace the medical advice of your doctor or healthcare provider. If you have questions pertaining to your medical condition, ask your doctor or healthcare provider. Percutaneous Liver Biopsy Introduction Diseases of the liver are common conditions that affect millions of people in the world. Your healthcare provider may recommend a percutaneous biopsy to find out more about your liver. A percutaneous liver biopsy is a common procedure used to diagnose many different kinds of liver diseases and check on the progress of a treatment. The decision whether or not to have this procedure is yours. This patient education program explains the percutaneous liver biopsy procedure, what it is for, as well as its possible risks and complications. It also explains some liver diseases and alternative tests. Anatomy The liver is a large organ located on the upper right side of the abdomen, just under the lungs. The liver is a very important organ that does a lot of important things for the body. The liver helps change the food we eat into sources of energy that can be used by the body. It also plays an important role in cleaning poisons or toxins from the bloodstream. It helps your body break down the alcohol you drink. The liver is very important for digestion. It produces bile, a yellowish liquid that is secreted in the intestines and helps us with digestion. Liver diseases. There are many different liver diseases and liver conditions. A liver biopsy can help diagnose many of these liver problems. Hepatitis is a condition that causes the liver to swell and become irritated. It is often caused by infection from viruses. There are several different kinds of hepatitis. The most common are hepatitis A, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. Each is caused by different viruses or infections. Drinking a lot of alcohol can cause scarring and damage of the liver, a condition known as liver cirrhosis. Scarring of the liver, or cirrhosis, may also happen for another reason not related to alcohol intake. Wilson's disease is a genetic disorder where the body absorbs and keeps too much copper in its tissue. Too much copper can cause damage to body tissue. Damage from copper in liver tissue can lead to liver disease and even liver failure. Sclerosing cholangitis is a disorder where the liver's bile ducts become swollen and irritated. This can cause them to become narrow and scarred. It is not known what causes this disorder, but people who have Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are more likely to have sclerosing cholangitis than others. When an area of the liver fills up with pus, it is known as a pyogenic liver abscess. Sometimes bacterial infections can cause this. A pyogenic liver abscess can also be caused by injury to the liver. Sponsored by the Patient Education Institute. www.patient-education.com Over 5,000 videos and interactive tutorials. Alternative Tests Many liver problems can be diagnosed using blood tests that look for chemicals made by the liver. Ultrasounds, CT scans, and MRIs can be done to look at the liver. Sometimes a biopsy may be needed to better diagnose a problem and to see if a specific treatment is working. A biopsy is a small piece of tissue that is taken from the liver and given to a pathologist. There are several different kinds of biopsies. Your healthcare provider may recommend a laparoscopic biopsy. During this procedure, special cameras are inserted through an incision in the abdomen. Instruments are put through the hollow tube and are used to collect samples from the liver for testing. Your healthcare provider may recommend a transvenous biopsy. During a transvenous biopsy, your healthcare provider will insert a hollow tube called a catheter into a vein in the neck and guide it to the liver. A biopsy needle is put through the tube and is used to collect samples from the liver for testing. 
your health care provider may recommend an open surgical biopsy. In this procedure, a surgeon opens the abdomen and takes a piece, big or small, from the liver using either a needle or a surgical knife. This is rare and is usually only done if you are already having an abdominal operation in the same area for some other reason. This program discusses percutaneous liver biopsy. In a percutaneous liver biopsy, your healthcare provider will insert a needle through an incision in your abdomen and take a sample of liver tissue. Before the procedure. Before scheduling your procedure, your healthcare provider may take blood samples to make sure your blood clots right. Be sure to mention any medications you take, especially those that affect blood clotting, like blood thinners. One week before the procedure, you may have to stop taking aspirin, ibuprofen, and anticoagulants. Do not eat or drink anything for eight hours before the biopsy. Check with your health care provider to find out what time you should plan to arrive at the hospital. Ask your health care provider about when you should or shouldn't take your regular medications. Also, make sure to ask your health care provider if there are any special instructions that you should follow. Procedure Liver biopsy is considered a minor procedure, but it may still be done at the hospital. Usually for the biopsy, you will lie on your back with your right hand above your head. This operation is usually done under local anesthesia. This means you will be awake during the operation, but the area your health care provider will be operating on will be numbed. Your health care provider may draw an outline of your liver on your skin before numbing the area with a local anesthetic. First, a small incision will be made on your right side near your rib cage. Then, a special needle will be inserted into the liver. This needle is used to get a sample of your liver tissue. In some cases, the healthcare provider may use a CT scan or an ultrasound image of the liver to help guide the needle to a specific spot. This is called a percutaneous image guided liver biopsy. The lungs and gallbladder are very close to the liver. You will need to hold very still so that the healthcare provider does not nick the lung or gallbladder. The healthcare provider may ask you to hold your breath for 5 to 10 seconds while he or she puts the needle in your liver. You may feel pressure and a dull pain. The entire procedure takes about 20 minutes. After the biopsy, your incision will be covered with a bandage. You will probably have to lie on your right side pressed against a towel for 1 to 2 hours. A healthcare provider will monitor your vital signs and level of pain. Risks and Complications A percutaneous liver biopsy is a very safe procedure. Risks and complications are unlikely, but they are possible. Knowing about them may help you detect them early if they happen. Risks include those of local anesthesia, those of any surgery, and those of the procedure itself. Risks related to local anesthesia are rare. They include allergy to the numbing medication given. You should let your healthcare provider know about all your allergies, specifically allergies to numbing medications such as lidocaine and novocaine. These allergies are rare, but they could potentially lead to death. Other risks are common to any surgical procedure. These include bleeding, infection, and scarring. Bleeding is unlikely, but if it does happen, you may need a blood transfusion and possibly an operation. Infections are rare, but if they happen, you may need antibiotics and possibly another surgery. Skin scars can be painful and you may think they are ugly. Other risks are specific for this procedure. These include damage to the liver, the gallbladder, the intestines, and the blood vessels. If an injury like this happens, you may need another operation. In extremely rare cases, it could be fatal. After the procedure You will need to arrange for someone to take you home from the hospital. You may have to go directly home and remain in bed for 8 to 12 hours, depending on your health care provider's instructions. Avoid extra physical activity for the next week so that the incision and liver can heal. 
You can expect a little soreness at the incision site and possibly some pain in your right shoulder. This pain is caused by irritation of the diaphragm muscle. This pain usually radiates to the shoulder and should disappear within a few hours or days. Your healthcare provider may recommend that you take Tylenol for pain. Do not take aspirin or ibuprofen for the first week after surgery. These decrease blood clotting, which is very important for healing. Call your healthcare provider if you experience any of the following. Fever and chills. Severe pain. Weakness and dizziness or feeling faint. Drainage from the incision or incisions. Any other new symptoms. Remember, it is always better to ask than to miss something serious. If you like this video, please like and share. For similar videos, subscribe to our channel. Summary The liver is a large organ located on the upper right side of the abdomen, just under the lungs. The liver helps change the food we eat into sources of energy that can be used by the body. It also plays an important role in cleaning poisons or toxins from the bloodstream. Diseases of the liver are common conditions that affect millions of people in the world. A percutaneous liver biopsy is a safe and helpful procedure. It can help your healthcare provider diagnose liver problems and check how well certain treatments are working. A percutaneous liver biopsy, like all surgeries, does have some risks. Complications from this surgery are unlikely, but they are possible. Knowing about them may help you and your healthcare provider detect them early. Thank you for using Explain.